yesterday, one of my fans got scammed a Titanic from a fake Telanthric, so that is why I'm doing this video on how to avoid scammers in Pet Simulator X. I know it might seem really obvious, but some of these scams are so advanced, you probably don't even know of them, and you might fall for them. Also, make sure you share this video to anyone that plays Pet Simulator X so they don't get scammed, because I literally see people get scammed so many huges every single day. But do you want a free huge? Just like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username, and here is last video's winner. I'm gonna give him a huge Cobra, and there we go. R.I.P. They aren't accepting any gifts. I'm gonna have to choose someone else. Okay, second person, and we sent it. So, we're gonna start with the lowest tier scams. These are the easiest to avoid. So, these are things like trust trading. Sometimes people offer incentives, like, they're like, bro, trust trade me. Give me your huge, and I'll give you it back, and the billion diamonds. Like, bro, if you fall for that, this would also include, like, people asking, can I borrow your pets? Or, like, invite me to your bank for free giveaway. Because, like, some people are like, hey, the best person who invites me to their bank gets a free huge. Like, anything at all. You're giving permission to have your pets, like, in the bank, or sending someone pets through the mailbox, giving them the pets through trading. Like, anything like that is final. They can do whatever they want. No matter how much, well, I mean, if you trust someone, like, if you're, like, best friends and you know them in real life, I mean, they're probably trustworthy. I only trust two people with my pets, like, Titanics and stuff, and they're both, like, basically co-owners of my value list. Oh, yeah, by the way, we added a search bar. Check out my value list. It's gonna be linked in the description. Most accurate. Almost no ads. Well, no ads right now, but we're gonna add a little bit soon. They're a partner, and they agree to sign your pets, and that's a little different, but I mean, like, just random people, not partners or devs, but this brings us on to the second tier. This is what I see happen basically every day and what you really need to watch out for, but I mean, it's still really easy to avoid. Of course, it's kind of obvious if there's no one in your server that actually has the partner tag, which you can check by, well, I don't have anyone in the server, but it will say partner by their name here. A lot of partners have a star code, but some don't, but they still have partner tag in the chat. And when you trade them, the trade menu, it will literally say partner by their name. Now, you can't make your display name the exact same as the actual star creator's usernames, I think, but a lot of star creators have nicknames, which everyone can set their username to, and it shows nicknames or all display names in the trade menu. So it can look like them, but if it doesn't say partner by their name, which for me, it's even more obvious. If you have a Titanic, don't give it to someone that doesn't have a partner tag saying they're gonna sign it, because they are not going to sign it. Maybe if they're a developer, I think devs can sign, but they probably have, like, developer by their name or something. But yeah, just be very, very careful. Make sure whoever you're trading your pets to to sign is actually them first. Like, bro, I hope this guy he spammed in my comments that I scammed him. If I go to my trade history, I don't even have any trades with him. He literally gave his Titanic some random guy. I still have eight Titanics. If you go to his trade history, he's gonna see, like, Telenthric or something. Like, he's gonna see it's a bacon hair with my username is spelled wrong. So yeah, just make sure you watch out. No partner tag equals they can't sign it equals you get scammed. Also, if you send a trade request and a partner didn't agree to sign it and you just press accept, then, I mean, they can accept it and just, like, they never agreed to sign it, they can take your pet. Like, of course, I don't do that. But if someone's, like, sign a please and then they put a huge and then accept and I don't agree to sign it, but accept it. Like, me personally, I wouldn't feel right about that. But I mean, it technically wouldn't be scamming because I never agreed to sign it. But still, I'm not gonna take people's huges if they expect me to sign it. But the mailbox is a whole different story. This isn't really a scam, but kind of just, like, common sense. So if you send someone a pet, say I'm gonna send my good friend in here pet, and then you say sign in it, I think this applies if you, like, send anything to a partner, even if you don't put sign, but, and then you press yes, then it says warning. This is a gift and you're not guaranteed to get your pet back. Now, trading if someone expects you to sign it, that's one thing, but if someone literally reads this, presses yes, they already agreed to giving their pet away, so do not send stuff in the mail to anyone that signs. I also know there are a few YouTubers that sign their mailbox in their videos, and then just keep good pets that anyone sends them. Like, I don't sign my mailbox in my videos. I make it extremely clear every stream I put up don't send pets to sign in mailbox. I say it in many of my videos. There are other YouTubers that kind of act like they sign pets in their videos, and then literally just take them. So don't send pets in the mailbox to sign. Unless if a YouTuber specifically says in their video to to send pets in the mailbox to sign, and then, well, if they don't sign your pet, I guess you could, like, report that to Big Games Discord, because they literally encouraged that in the first place.
this place, but like other than that, only give your pets to sign to people if they're in your server. It actually says partner tag by their name and they agreed to sign it before you press accept. But now we're moving on to the third tier. These are scams that are basically unavoidable and you're gonna have to really watch out. I mean, it kind of involves a little bit of hacking, not just scamming. So this is a scary part. So right now there is a lag script where, I mean, if you've been in the trading plaza, especially the pro one, you've probably seen it happen a few times. If the game randomly freezes for like everyone, sometimes you might be lagging so it might freeze for you a little bit, but if it freezes for everyone, that is the lag script. So they usually don't do it on auctions. Usually these people, well, some of them are on the leaderboard. I'm not going to say exactly who because it could be a coincidence and like all 20 times I get in their game, it just happens to lag. But there are a lot of people that do this where they literally hack and then make the game lag, but it's not lagging for them. So they can actually remove their pets and then when you press accept, it's going to load a little bit and then they lag the game a little bit more. So you can't press unaccept. The game's servers aren't lagging, only like everyone in the game is. So you'll still have like normal ping, but you won't really be able to do anything because everyone's lagging. So basically they can remove their pets. So they could add like 10 Titanics for like your one Titanic and then press ready and then lag you. Then if you press ready, because it's like an insane deal, then you can't really unready, but they can remove their pets. So just watch out for that. If you get a deal that seems too good to be true, I would not do it. Also, if you notice the game starts to lag while you're in the trade menu, like everyone freezes, then don't press ready. There's not really a way to detect this and guarantee it. But I mean, if there's someone that consistently does it, I don't know if they'd get banned. Oh yeah, also the guy that scammed my fans Titanic didn't get banned because the guy literally doesn't have Discord. And the only way they ban people, even though that guy has been in like countless servers, he uses like row search or something to join me. I've had my fans say in the chat so many times that he scammed their huges or whatever, even though I tell people not to give anyone that doesn't have partner tag their huges. Like, most people that play big games, or PESMX, I don't know I said big games, those people that play it are like, let's say around like 10 to 12, and you have to be 13 for Discord. So most of them don't have Discord, so they can just get, so they can just scam people and no one can send any proof about it until someone that actually has Discord takes screenshots of it and send them it. But I know he's a scammer because it's literally happened like over 10 times like he literally just joins me and then scams my fans anyways yeah enough about that with the hacker thing there isn't too much you can really do to avoid it just be really careful watch out if it's lagging and it's really op for them too because like they could just say that the server was lagging and that it wasn't them so i don't know if that's fixed now because the game randomly restarted yesterday and they added a new feature with trading i forgot exactly what it is i just remember there was something new so maybe they're fixing that. Hopefully that happens. But there is one more type of scam that is not really avoidable and it is duped pets now. As you guys know, duped pets do exist. Like they're currently at least a few hundred easter cats in the game, maybe around a thousand even though it says 38 exist. It only says how many exist of ones that aren't duped. But duped ones are basically someone used a hack to duplicate it. I don't think you can duplicate super fast because there are some really rare pets that only have like a few duped. It seems like there would be like millions if you could just dupe infinitely. But there are two different types of duped pets. Duped pets with ID changes and ones without ID changes. So ones with ID changes, infinite of them can exist. If they have cereals, they'll still have the same cereal. It's just there is a thing for each pet called a pet ID. And how it works is if there are multiple pet IDs of the same pet, then it deletes the other one, but only if they're in the same server or like it just deletes it randomly sometimes. So if the ID is changed, then you can basically have infinite because they changed the random pet ID. My guess is the pet ID is like at least like 50 random characters in a row, maybe like more than that. So anyways, it's like a randomized ID. So ones that are not ID changed, if multiple of them get in the same server, then one will disappear. And sometimes they just randomly disappear. So of course, like a lot of pets that are traded are duped because I mean, there's not really any way they can get rid of them if their ID changed unless they figure out a way to show all original IDs for the ones that exist and then delete eat all the other ones or something like that but that'd be really hard probably because i mean big games is a big company that's why it's named big games so if there's a way to fix that already they probably would have done that so basically this scam is someone just has duped pets that aren't id changed because they probably fixed that and then like they trade it for your pet
it usually in a really good deal and then kind of just disappears sometimes it's instant sometimes it disappears after a few days it's usually within the first few days though and i know duped pets without id changes still exist because one of my friends literally traded for like a duped huge cat or something and it disappeared like hours after he got it so he kind of just lost everything although it does happen it is still pretty rare because i don't think i've had a duped pet yet like nothing i had disappeared i don't know if it shows pets that disappear under your trade history or something because i remember there being a way to see it but i still haven't gotten one that disappeared i only know one person that has out of the hundreds of people i know on pet Simex, and that was like yesterday so most likely you're not gonna get trade scammed you're not gonna get duped pets but usually if there's a really rich trade scammer like leaderboard ones in the server people are like guy is a top leaderboard guy he's a scammer don't trade him oh yeah here, here's a bonus scam this is the last one that i know of that i can remember right now sometimes people will add like a whole bunch of exclusives huges and then maybe like one titanic or like they'll add a whole bunch of bad pets and then one expensive pet and then see what you'll offer for it and then before accepting the offer they remove that expensive pet and then press ready so always when you press ready make sure that what's in the trade is what you want to get before and there's another one where people have a bot that automatically divides the diamonds by 10 basically how this works is someone will offer you diamonds for a pet but they'll have a full inventory so of course not everyone with a full inventory is a scammer but then it says error this user has a full inventory so then they can't do the trade and then they'll put like a few bad pets like clover axolotls or like some really cheap common pet to make it look like they're trying to give you some pets so their inventory isn't full anymore but then they have a bot that automatically divides the diamonds by 10. now this one is kind of easy for most people to watch out for but if you're on a mobile or a small device it might might be a little hard to tell but let's say originally they put like 140 million let's say originally they put like 140 billion diamonds for your pet but then it says their inventory is full so they'll add a couple bad pets to distract you and make it look like they're making their inventory not full but then your auto changer will update it as soon as they add those pets so like they both appear on the screen at the same time it will auto change it to like 14 billion but i'm pretty sure this is a script some of them do it without a script but the script one it like does it at the exact same time as they add pets so it's even faster. I know a couple people that almost fell for it. I don't know anyone that actually fell for it, but I'm sure there have to be some people out there because if it didn't work, why would people be trying to do it? Anyways, those are all the scams I know of that I can remember right now. So just watch out. Basically, the main takeaway from this video is don't give people your pets no matter what. I mean, there are a few exceptions like what I said about partners and what I said. Don't give people your pets covers like 90% of the scams I mentioned in this video. So hopefully that helped you guys. Hopefully you guys don't get scammed. And probably should have recorded when I saw a scam so that I could have like compiled them into a compilation like shown what it actually was during this video but that would take like days to find enough scammers for that 90% of the scams I see are just like some weird guy in the chat spamming like he put a fake partner tag by his name like he puts the fire emoji in the chat like this and then partner and is like hi but that's obvious because okay partner tag is before your name so yeah most of the scams are just that or whoever invites me into the bank gets a huge pet or something like that so do not fall for any of those guys please don't get scammed if you want to do something dumb with your huges or titanics you should give them to me for real but all jokes aside the scamming community is a pretty big problem in pet sub x especially since partners can sign pets like every single person i've got scammed so far or at least like 95 percent have been people pretending to be partners but uh yeah make sure to subscribe with the notifications on like the video join my discord server links in the description do everything else links in the description but thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video.